And the Alfano period has begun, 9.45, moving in the midfield as the Blue Alliance takes possession of their switch. Red Alliance returns in kind, taking possession of their switch as well. Both Alliance is able to pick up ranking points as a result of that autonomous period. And 60-32, able to throw another power cube on the Blue Alliance switch. The scale tips in the Red Alliance's favor. And 1787 trying to move their way around over to the power cubes on the Red Alliance side. Here comes 945 dropping another power cube on the Red Alliance side of the scale. Right now, Blue Alliance has the advantage, 130 to 82. But, Blue Alli but Red Alliance is catching up an extra point per second. But the Blue Alliance activates a power up for their switch, doubling their points for the next three seconds. Red Alliance activates their levitate power up. And a shot from 1787, able to get it up there, but they're gonna need a couple more cues to be able to tilt, to tilt the scale in their favor. Red Alliance is catching up, closing the gap. It's gonna be a close one with just a minute left. 1787 needs to do another shot, just a little bit off it. It comes crashing down on the Red Alliance side. Red Alliance catching up, and Red Alliance finally has passed the Blue Alliance using the boost power up, doubling their points on the switch and the scale. Red Alliance has taken the lead. 1787 trying to shoot that cube up there, but they are running out of time and they are in a place they don't want to be this close to end game. They're trying to get out of there quick, and it looks like they do. That's some fancy footwork from 1787. 44-67 lining up on the platform. 345 and 30-61 lining up on the side, seeing if they can get a lift. 44-67, not able to get it together with 12 seconds left. 9.45, tries to go for a climb. A little bit of skipping, but it looks like they're gonna be able to get up there if they can hold it, get themselves a little bit high.